Hi. In this video, I want to I wanna see how far we can push um, the Quest 2 using Unreal Engine with physical body. So I get inspired um, by, uh, by Christian Drinkall, who made a video uh, uh, showing like he, he can render around a thousand cubes, with the, which all have uh, physics simulation and uh, the Quest seems to handle it pretty well. So and also that was also an inspiration from uh, Rigid Buddy uh, from a bake, uh, um, Bricky, sorry, <laughs> Bricky did a long time ago. He did the, like thousand of thousand of uh, cubes, but it was not on the quest, of course. And myself, I did kind of a test as well. I, I rendered like ten thousand cubes on a kind of on a regular PC with a small the, the GPU, and that one that, that was kind of a, the, the the trending. So I want to see how far can we push this on on Oculus Quest and Unreal. So what I did is I create, uh, I try to create a similar scene than uh, what Christian did. So I have uh, create myself a few barrel for explosive. I use the default gun of the VR template and I create three button, uh, which they all uh, kind of create some uh, some asset that we can uh, we can measure and also have an, an FPS uh, monitor. So uh, we can measure in real time if the quest is going down or it's react or it can still uh, hold the, the situation. So let's 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 do this. So um, so by default, I have a very bare bones scene. Like the sky has been ripped off. There's no skylight. There's no like it's. So we have a seventy around seventy two FPS, which is the expected uh, frame rate for Oculus. So um, let's start with the uh, the obvious like uh, the red button. It generate a small tower of one hundred uh, uh, two hundred forty cubes. So they all physics body. So if I take a, a gun here and I shoot at it, it just they're gonna push the cubes and it's just gonna fall down. So I can add a little bit more. So but already, as soon as I have simulation enabled, it doesn't always go so well. I can I can notice it's a bit wobbly, and that why. <laughs> it just fall on me. So now, I mean, the FPS is going down like 50 or something like that. So so just with 240 uh, physic cubes uh, in Unreal, it's not that strong. So let's try, let's try to add more to see if it's, if it's gonna still crash or let's, so this time we're gonna add so first 240 and let's another ground another group so we almost have 500 so it's it's not <laughs> another one like 700 a little bit more a, a thousand almost a thousand so you see i'm i'm going down like nothing really works well now if i just add another bunch 1200 it it doesn't work f well so <laughs> so <clears throat> I don't know if it's because of the shape of the uh, of my tower, but if I shoot at it and make it fall, it's ah, it's it's satisfying, but the FPS is down. <laughs> That's really bad. <laughs> There's not much I can do. I mean, it's it's just like really bad. <laughs> All right, so I thought maybe the cubes are. The shape of the cube maybe was the issue. So what I did is I, I create another shape. So instead of using a tower, I use a wall. And then I generate 1500 in a, in a, in a big wall like that. But still, same issue here. I, I have too many. And you know what? <laughs> it's down for Unity in that case. It's They're just way better to handle like physical, whoops, physical body. Uh, like I cannot have a thousand physical body. It's just like it crash. It just crash. It doesn't stay. I mean, I have like twelve FPS. So, so what? So all right. So I guess, I guess Unity is better. <laughs> so I can I can let down all my fellow Unreal Engine developer for VR. So. Let's let's go in the rabbit hole and try to find a better solution. All right, all right, all right. Now, let's see. 
if I can improve this situation with this blue button. So we're gonna generate smaller cube, but way more. And 900, it's all good. The cubes are stable. Let's add another one. A thousand, so over a thousand, uh, 1800, so it's all good, stable. So I can add more. more than 5,000, super stable, and I just keep adding, 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 adding. <laughs> Let's go to 25,000. Let's try that. Over 25, 26,000. Wow, okay. Seven, 70 FPS, we're still really good. Let's open the door and see this from the outside. Check this from the outside, the tower. So we have over 25,000, 26,000 cubes right there. And the engine is pretty, pretty solid. <laughs> All right, what kind of black magic I did here? Let's add more. So let's go to, I don't know, 50,000 maybe? Let's, can, we, can we do 50,000 without having the quest crashing? So I had, I had, I had the, the tower is getting higher and higher. Let's go, let's go. 50,000. And then we're fine. We're still really fine. The FPS is strong and solid. Let's blow a little bit of the wall here and there. And it's all solid, doesn't move at all. <laughs> okay, let's try 100,000. Can we reach 100,000 cube? In Oculus Quest using Unreal Engine. Getting there. It's going up. thousand cube and the FPS is still strong so what kind of uh, thing I did here so here we go a 100,000 cube but I have to be honest here they're not physical buddy they're fake <laughs> they look like physical buddy but they're not they actually the actually instance mesh, which is the trick to use to generate a lot of instance. So basically, it's one entity generating the same cube with the same shader or same material, and it kind of uh, be able to render this very efficiently. Still, I mean, we kind of playing around. Uh, it's still on. The, that's the edge of of being able to generate that, but I mean, we're around 72, so it's still decent. So, there we go. So, that's a technique. So, basically, I just cheat. I don't use, I don't use, um, I don't use physical body because it's, it's, it's too slow. So, what I did instead is using the Yorkial Instance Statistic Mesh component. So, there's not that much documentation about it. I have to dig a little bit to figure this out, but uh, there's a very good, um, video about it from uh, tech art aid so he kind of describe it kind of uh, age because it was done six years ago but it's still accurate of today so basically you just use an instantiation of the same mesh and you share the same shader so it's not that complicated so i may do a, qu a quick video later on about how to do this but that's the only way i can generate that much cube but otherwise i mean unity beat I think Unreal in terms of VR experience for the, the physical body. I don't know if it's because of the latest version of Unreal Engine 5.1.1. That's the one I use, 5.11. Um, maybe I should try another version of Unreal, but I mean, it's not, it's not, <laughs> I think uh, Unity just beat Unreal in that, in that matter, unless you use what, as I did, the instantiation mesh. So let me know if you any, have any comments or maybe some suggestion to, uh, 
to make Unreal Engine working better in VR for Oculus. I'm always open for that. Thanks.